Okay, everybody, we're going to take a look at reference waveforms on the MSO X6000 from Keysight. Uh, I've only done this a couple of times, but I wanted to take a moment and show you, so maybe a little bit, a little bit rusty. Uh, step one, let's take a signal. Here's a uh, just a rising edge on um, channel one, and I want to remember that. And um, the purpose of a reference. Uh, waveform is so that you can save it, recall it later on the screen, compare that to something else. So if you were having trouble with a circuit, say this rise time was too slow and you're trying to improve it, or if you're getting some ringing, you could you know, go do another spin of your circuit board, change components, whatever you're going to do, come back, use the old reference, uh, compare it to the live signal, and see if you have actually made any kind of improvement. So I'll turn on the uh, reference waveform and uh, click on display reference one and I'm going to save what I've got to reference one and once that reference is in there we can uh, kind of, you know move it up and down um, if I change uh, if I if I move horizontally um, the reference waveform does go with it and if you notice here the reference waveform is only what's on the screen this is not an entire uh, memory capture that's a different different thing altogether um, Anyway, so that can that can move around. So if your live signal ends up being in a different spot, you can um, you can move that around, and you can also scale the, uh, the the reference waveform independently. And I can use the skew to move it independent of the horizontal adjustment to kind of help me get this thing lined up with a new signal. So saving it is quite easy. We'll just hit save and save. Uh, the format is reference. Uh, it's it's there because I uh, it, it's not the default, but I selected that before. So reference reference data. We're going to save it to our USB in the root directory right there. The file name is ref3. That sounds fantastic. So we'll press to save. File saved successfully. So when when you um, turn off the scope and turn it back on, reference waveforms actually stick with it. Uh, so. Um, just for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to clear uh, the reference waveform and then go back over to recall. Pretend I wanted to come back, say, a week later because I just got a new circuit board. Let's see if this thing is the same or different or whatever. We'll hit recall. I'm going to make sure over here that it is a reference waveform that I'm looking for. Right here, I'll pick which reference waveform it's going to go to. And let's pick a file, uh, ref3. Press to recall. And there it is. Ta-da. Reference. <laughs> and it is indeed the same. How exciting. So there is uh, is how the reference waveforms are implemented on the uh, Keysight MSO X6000 series. I'm not sure if this is exactly the same or similar to the other scopes or how other manufacturers do it. But uh, this, is a, this is a really handy feature. And um, I think I will probably be using it a whole lot.